Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 2 Lemonade Factory. Last time we have fired off all of our employees and yeah, we do mean literally, metaphorically, figuratively, you name it. All sorts of meanings for firing your employee in different ways and approaches. Even if it is literal. Oh wait, we don't need to do that, but we do need to unclog the toilet and use it so we can then finish up our robot. As for Luna... Well, uh... We have a bit of a mess at the moment. We will solve this mess momentarily. And by momentarily, I mean right now with Charles. We need an exterminator. Because we have roaches. Someone really made a mess. So we can build up the social, we can just do this. Hang with pops. Yeah, hang with pops. Perfect enough. You don't need to sit down. What you need to do is get back to work on those munchy bots. No. As for you, Luna, what you can do is move some graves. This is going to be the recording session of moving some gravestones, one by one. Not all at once, though, but just one at a time, one right now, and then later on move, you know, move it's -a me now, and then later on move Sam or someone. And we will use this perfect time to just, yeah, take a look at the graveyard. And, yeah, just to uh, reorganize everything. We are here, and we are here to, uh, fix this up. We don't need this anymore. But we have another gravestone for this place. I'll do introductory and roll call later, but for now, there it is. And why don't you look at that. All finished up, ready to go. We have five here. One less ghost to worry about. Because, let me tell you, as cool as ghosts can be at times, they can be quite annoying to deal with. And they're going to be bad for business. Even though business has already been bad to begin with. But it's all good. It's not the end of the world. Luna, she's ready to go. Probably ready to grow up. Ready to buy a cake. Maybe the limey one. Oh, I know. She's not re really ready to grow up yet, so we'll just save that for later. Although I'm pretty sure I might forget it. Nice, nice, nice. We have gotten rid of the bugs. As for that, I'll just give it to Charles. Give that book to someone. Inventory this up. We'll leave the beds. Have the maid clean it up. Have Luna put that book away. She don't need to use that bathroom. It's already here. No need to 
put that away. We'll just have the maid clean up. Clean up your mess, your act, your everything around you. Nah. Nah, nah. Nah, let's see how Luna can operate a business. See how the kid does it. You know, she'll get ready to, uh, get ready to sell some lemonade. Yeah. Now's the perfect time to do so. You. No, hang on. Take a bubble bath. And then you can f finish up. Or not, I guess, because... Yeah. Yep, ridiculously expensive like always. Anyone want lemonade from the child? No other, uh... No other workers, sadly, because they all got fired. Yeah, fired. Yeah, that sounds about right. They got fired. Sure. Surely enough, they got fired. Oh, good for you. You got it all squared away. How about Luna? Oh, hey, one customer. Luna's first ever customer. It's pretty nice, I'll say. Another customer. Pretty good. Oh, she can't really ask anyone to leave, so... We're gonna have to let anyone else fight. Oh, just like that. Probably best she just close the business up since she's kind of getting tired anyway. Get some leftovers and... You go clean up. Yes, clean up the place just a little bit. Charles is just gonna eat some food for a bit. Use the bathroom and then go sleep in his pajamas. Well, now it's time for her birthday. It's time for her to blow out the candles and make a big ol' spanking wish. What will she aspire to be? Yeah. <laughs> will she aspire to be fortune like her father? Romance? Family? Well, I'm going fortune for one. Because... Yeah, just like her father. She's gonna make some money with the, the lemonade business. Just like, uh... Her other idol as well, Lemon Maid Laura. Quite the character, I'll say. Also, I don't think that hairstyle really matches the uh, transition. I thought it'd be the uh, the curly hair, but not the not that hair. But I can easily fix that. That's not not a problem. I'll just go and try and find it, that is. Still has the same bed and everything. And will for a while. If 
she can find another way of making money besides lemonade, then that'll be good too. Uh oh. We got ghosts. We got a ghost. Doug Douglas Douglason. Roaming around. He's not locked out of the Seagate house. So, yeah, he can just roam around and cause trouble. Although that's not what we want because... Yeah, that's not my purpose. It's not going to look good for the business. The robot part or the lemonade part. As cool as ghosts can be at times, they can also be really annoying. Really annoying to deal with at times. I'll save this cake for later. And, yeah. We'll make some more munchy bots because those sell pretty well. Whatever. I didn't mean to do that. I tried not to do that, but I did that. Oh, nice. Want to earn some money? Well, that's easy. That is really easy for you. No problemo. I only didn't have a wardrobe for her. I forgot about the wardrobe. Well, we're gonna upgrade this place anyway. Her bed soon, so. Go for nice blue, still. Nothing to change out into, like, for her outfit and stuff. Did you leave that open? Or did you leave that on? Or is that the ghost? Well, whatever the case, uh, spooky. Also, no, she's not going to go and bother with college either. Because, yeah, that's not her intention. She don't need college to sell lemonade. Yeah, we can sell this for... A bit of cash there. What can Servo do? A whole lot of things there, Charles. Turn that off, and you can get ready for bed. You got a big day ahead of you. And you as well. Uh, go move Sam's grave. Before you go into, uh... Go to school. Well, there she goes. The one who picked on that one poor fellow. Well, she started it to begin with. And with that... It's not over yet, but let us go and take a look at the graveyard again. Yep, there she is. Ready to take a place as... Over this. They were placeholders. Or, they are placeholders. In case someone were to die in Blackwater Gulch. So, now back to the program again. Alright, we have returned and we are ready to go to school. As Luna.
Now is the big day. Uh, actually, no. The big day will be... Yeah, soon. For now, though, we will just... Yeah, we'll just build some more munchy bots. Oh, yeah. Hey, nice. Got some more money. Oh, hey, nice. Got schoolwork done. That's good. Now get your schoolwork or homework done. You don't need a cheer. You're caught up with something. Grab a nice slice of cake. And we will sell this. Nice, now we're rolling in the big bucks. Piece of cake, I'll say. <laughs> That's how it's going. This playthrough is a cakewalk. Yeah, a real cakewalk. <laughs> Nonetheless, uh, yeah, we'll put it away, and we'll have Charles go and take a shower, have him go to sleep, and endure another night of ghosts. More Doug, and I believe that's McDonald. Yep, that was McDonald. Last munchie bot for the day, and oh dear. Well, let's not get scared to death now, that would be horrible. Give me that cake some more. None from stopping us from eating cake. Go resume. So, uh, yeah, we'll sustain the night and then afterwards, after everyone is back in their graves. Well, will be the moment of just ending this episode off. Oh, yep, she got scared, and that's gonna be a fear there. This is also one of the reasons why I decided, yes, to move the ghosts away. For now, though. Oh, well, that fear is obtained. Not good, but still. Now that they're all gone, before we, yeah, end this off, let us, let's move peaches. Yeah, let's move peaches now. Well, with that, uh, I thank you all for watching this episode, and I will catch you all later for the next one. Well, after we move Peaches to the proper location, that is. Here we go. Peaches ready to go. Ready to take this spot. And now, with that, uh... I will catch you all later for the next episode.